Welcome to Toffee TV. It is my three things from Everton 4. Wolves nil. It sounds beautiful being able to talk about a home win, being able to talk about goals. Um, big, big win tonight for Everton. There's a lot of pressure on that game. It was an absolute must win. We've got a tough set of fixtures. We've not we're not in a great place at all in the Premier League. But after that win tonight, it's a little bit easier. It's still Listen, it's still a lot of uh, a lot of work to be done. Absolutely, there is. But the players and uh, have done a good job tonight. Uh, that'll that'll make them feel buoyed. Of course, it will. They'll feel good about it. Um, you know, managing a victory. It's only the what the second victory since September, so they should feel quite good about it. And you know, it was an opportunity to put some distance between us and the bottom three, and they've done that tonight. They've got the the five points and that you need that buffer going into this next set of fixtures. Uh, obviously the Derby's a big game at the weekend, of course it is it's a huge game. Liverpool haven't won tonight, so that's good. And we have won. So there'll be might be a little bit of doubt in their mind, just a little bit, not not loads. But there might be a little bit of doubt in their mind going into this one. And for us, the confidence of winning tonight, big game. Can we get at them and can we eke out a result? The players have proven they can do it. They can do the business. They've just proven that tonight. Run, Harry, get the crowd involved, work hard, press, attack. You get results. Um, and we've done it. And we've done it. So everyone should, everyone connected with the football club fans who, who've had hardly anything to cheer about. We haven't had a bleeding goal to talk about since October. So, you know, that's a big one tonight. And enjoy it. That's all I'd say. The first thing I want to speak about is Goodison Park and being on the front foot. And Everton were on the front foot tonight. And they've not done that enough. I've been critical of us the way we play Goodison uh, under Sean Dyke. I really have because it's not been good enough. Tonight proves that you shouldn't be terrified of teams. You sh you need to go at teams. The, the three points are there to be won. And Everton have, have gone and done it tonight. They've gone at Wolves. They've got groaning confidence. Of course, they have by scoring the first goal. Might have been different if, if they'd have got the first goal, but who cares? We got the first goal and we grew in confidence from it. And we've been able to put them to the sword and that's what it's about. And when you have, when you do what I do and you're speaking to Evertonians every day and you're trying to, you, you having an opinion, which is all it ever is, of course. Um, but it's an opinion formed of watching Everton for a long time and watching other teams. And I do watch a lot of football. These players are better than results. Better than, in my opinion, better than sometimes what the manager has to believe. And tonight they've proven it. They've beaten the team who, listening to build up all of the comments, you know, other Wolves fans and different things about what how good they are and they're going to do this and they're going to do that. I was confident we'd win tonight because Everton have got good players and they've gone and proven it tonight. Now, the consistency might be where people are critical of them and rightly so because they haven't been consistent enough. But I think if you get at teams, you go after teams at Goodison, you engage us as a fan base, we will back you. We will it'll be there, it'll be noisy, it'll be difficult. Now, OK, you can't always go to that well. The fans can't always go to that well. The fans can't always be the ones that drag you over the lines. You have to meet them halfway, and that is come by running, by getting creating chances. Of course, goals change things, of course they do, but that happens in any game, it happens with any team, it happens with good teams, doesn't it? It's can you, can you keep it up, can you put teams to bed? The only way you're going to do and get results like that is by going and attacking. Because if we have to sit there and watch us giving the ball up to the the opposition and hoping to hang on, that's not gonna that isn't really gonna wash. Whereas tonight, okay, we've we've ended up with a couple of goals from set plays. Well, it's actually three of our goals have come from set pieces, haven't they? Tonight, and that we know that that's a big thing in our game. But we did we could have scored other goals and we should have scored other goals. You know, Jack Harrison. Uh, He's like Beto, he works his socks off and he wants to do really well. He's more technical than Beto, I have to say that. Um, but he's blazed a couple of really good opportunities over the bar when he should have done better. And he, he could have had, obviously he could have walked off the pitch as a sub with two goals to his name. It hasn't happened for him, hopefully he'll get one in a big game at a time when we need him to. Um, but just being offensive, being attacking, getting after teams gives you that opportunity, creates that 
it creates a fear in the other team that you you know were under a bit of pressure. But Everton haven't been able to create that the last few years, and this isn't just for Sean Dyche because. I think Frank Lampard at times used Goodison really well and at other times it didn't work and Benitez, it didn't really work and obviously Carlo before that, it was a, a long time since crowds were in the ground so you have to sort of energise Goodison. You do it by getting after teams and we did it tonight and, and I think for me personally, that's the way we have to play at home and and I think we pick up a lot more results and we'd score goals at least and we'd, we'd be able to celebrate. Um I mean, it's the fact that VAR and the referee tried to ruin it tonight for celebrations and you couldn't, you were looking around and going, is it, does the goal stand? Is it, you know, that's just the way modern football is and the Wolves fans pointed that out as well. It's a bit rubbish, but listen, get after teams and we will get more positive results. Second thing is the midfield. I thought the midfield duo tonight were brilliant. Everton's midfield has been... It's it's been so many different partnerships at times this season. We've had obviously James Garner being injured for most of it. He's had a few games but picked up another injury. Iribunum started the season brilliantly. I don't think Sean Dyche would have played him if everyone was fit. I, I really don't, but he, he did play him and he showed he, he can bring something to the team. Absolutely he can. He's tried the Core in there and while I do think the Core is better in a deeper role, I still he doesn't use the ball well enough now. Adris is our best midfielder. Uh, Harrison Armstrong's just got bits and pieces of young lad, so you can't put anything on him at the moment. So really, Mangala and Adris Agana Gay are the best two. They've absolutely dominated that midfield tonight. Mangala's had his best game in a blue shirt by a mile. And I think he came on a Villa and hardly touched the ball. And then I remember seeing him against Southampton in the, the Carabao Cup and he... He didn't have a good game at all. Um, but Leicester away, I think he played in, in night and he was very good and he's got better and better and better. And I actually think he's missed out a couple of games and I don't think he should he should have been missing out. But he's got back in there tonight with Adrissa Garn again. He's been brilliant. He was my man of the match. Adrissa was incredible. He was everywhere. Mangala's got it. Thought he used the ball a bit better and obviously got a goal. So that's why he's, he's edged it for me. Adrissa put fires out all over the place. Really did. Really did. It was superb. And then too, energy and use of the ball really well. And I think when you fa when you sort of factor in that, then we can get if we can get it a boon and fit again quickly and we can get James Garner fit, then at least the manager's got options and obviously Harrison Armstrong as well is is a you know, he's someone who's laying in his trade. The core he can do the job in there as well. So you're talking with Armstrong, there's six of them, but with the core, there's five. But um, I just feel like those two tonight were, it, were really good. They've got to do it. Listen, one game doesn't mean everything's perfect. Far from it. But they did the job tonight, and that's all we can comment on. So that's good. And I think also, just in this bit, I, there needs to be a notable mention for Ashley Young, who I think over the last six weeks has been excellent. He really has. Listen, I personally, I want Patterson in the team. I want us to, to really double down on Nathan Patterson and get him, you know, let's see if he can do the job. I think Mikhailenko's struggling a little bit at the moment, I really do. And I think I'd be inclined to put Patterson in and Mikhailenko, take him out and put Ashley Young at left back. Because I think Young's been excellent, but right now he's in at right back and he's done really well. Apart from Sunday, I don't think he had a, he didn't have a very good game at Old Trafford, he really didn't. He struggled a bit Sunday, but he was excellent tonight. Obviously scored the first goal, but done a lot more than I'd already put. A brilliant ball across the box, which we reacted to late, early. You know, it was a lovely little ball across. And if we'd have gone in, we'd have someone would have had a tap in. That was at nil nil. I just thought he deserved a notable mention at the moment. It's easy to to for people to have a go with him, and I get it. Um, the age thing and all that. It's a little bit like he should he really be in, but he, should, he looks fitter than most of our players. And I thought he was excellent tonight, so he deserves my opinion. Deserves a mention. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then the final thing is Armando Breuer. I think obviously Dominic Calvert-Lewin struggling for goals at the moment. Um, I think some games he's looked a little bit disinterested. I don't think the way we've been playing, he, he's on board with. Because um, he's a centre forward who wants chances, and they all do. And I actually, I actually wouldn't have started them tonight. I think we played really good football. 
or sorry, better football at Old Trafford in the opening half an hour on Sunday because Beto was there and they had to use it a different way. They didn't just whack the ball long and hope for the best, which is what they've been doing. And I thought having Beto there, it enabled us to play better football. The end result, it didn't work out like that, of course, and Dom was quite lively when he came on. And I think it's good to give you your centre forward the kick up the arse. I think if you're not scoring goals and it, it goes over a certain amount of games, you have to come out. In my opinion, you have to come out. And he's come back in tonight and I thought he's had a good game tonight. He's in, He's been unlucky. He was given two goals and both goals were taken off him for own goals from Craig Dawson. But having Armando Breuer as an option gives Everton a different... A, 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 it's a different animal. He came on. Listen, don't want to go in too heavy on it because he had, what, 15 minutes? But in that 15 minutes, he showed good power, good pace, good turn of pace, good movement, and he created two really good opportunities. He should really be walking off the pitch with two assists for Jack Harrison as a sub. And, and Breuer just gives us a different a different option. And he's very much a forward player who likes to run at the runner players. I think he should get shots away a little bit earlier. But he's just coming back after a long injury, so we want to get him up up to speed. But I think he gives the manager a real a different um a different bit of bit of arsenal, if you like, to use. And I, I think he could be really important for Evan. I think he'd be really good. I think there's an opportunity to use him as a real um another forward, a, a real genuine forward, if you like, off one of the sides. Uh if you are having I think it, it requires maybe a little bit of a system tinker. You might have to end up with three flat midfield players to cover it, but you could go high with with Njai and maybe Dominic Calvert-Lewin and maybe Armando Breuer as a real three. Again, at home, things like that. He can be used through the middle, of course. He can. He came on for Dom as a as a centre forward tonight, but I also think he because he likes to pick the ball up and run. You can also use him in wide areas as well. I think you've got the cover if you've got the cover of full back. And you've got the three, the screen in front of it. I think it's fine, and um, he could give it. He could give Sean Dyche options. Obviously, we've got Beto there. He didn't get on the pitch tonight. Yusuf Chimiti's not far away, so there's an opportunity for some players to to come in and stake a claim and mix it up. And I just feel like Breuer could become an important player for us. I hope so. The, the signs tonight were really positive. Something a bit different. Seeing a centre forward that likes to get hold of it and. To run up people, and we we like we love and jai picking the ball up and running a play a play uh, a players, don't we? As the fans, it gets us off the seat in the ground, and having Breuer as well, another one, I think that could make big difference to us. So made up to see him back and on the pitch. Um, I'll be honest, I've wanted them for a few years at Everton, so I've got to see him in an Everton shirt. Can he put it all together and score goals? Hopefully, um, we'll have to wait and see, but. Good start tonight. There you go. They're my three things. Have a fantastic night if you're an Evertonian. Enjoy the next few days. It's great to it's great to win. Absolutely brilliant feeling. And make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Thank you very much. We'll be back tomorrow. Check all that out as well. See you later.